Good morning. Well, in the midst of these very firm messages from God through his prophet Jeremiah, here comes a, a positive one. What will many of the Gentiles someday do? So here's a little bit of relief from the gloom. We're at Jeremiah 16, verses 19 to 21. O oh Lord, my strength and my fortress, my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come to you from the ends of the earth and say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, worthlessness, and unprofitable things. Will a man make gods for himself which are not gods? Therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know. I will cause them to know my hand and my might, and they shall know that my name is the Lord. God's people are deep in a period of idolatry and apostasy. But this time it's not about Israel. Not so much. God wanted to use Israel to spread a knowledge of himself across the planet. And in fact, if you look at the map, you see that Israel's right there geographically. It's right there at the crossroads of the continents. God, God knew what he was doing when he put them there. The intention was to spread the word about God to every nation, every people. But what have we got happening? Israel is worshiping false gods, idols. I mean, of all things, of all things they could be doing. This is the opposite of their mission. This is just 180 degrees off course. So here they are, the privileged people, worshiping false idols. Now, God tells his prophet Jeremiah, I have not given up on my purpose for Israel. Don't even begin to think it. Indeed, the Gentiles themselves in the course of time are going to see that all the ideas they've worshipped that were not of God, the, 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 the idols, the wood and stone, and, and the humanistic ideas, they're going to see that all this stuff is empty, that it's fruitless, that it's worthless, to use the words here in the scripture, worthless, and they're going to turn to the God of heaven. They're going to come. There's coming a time when it'll be uh, very evident to many non-Jews It'll be very evident to many non-Hebrews that they've been following error and there is a God in heaven and they want to turn to him. And many will. Remember now, we're not random beings. We are designed beings made in not just any pattern, but made in the image of God. We all have the inbuilt capacity to cleave toward the moral, toward the orderly, toward beauty. Jews and Gentiles alike have this. Ancient Jews and secular humanists in the 2020s. We've all got it. You could say we're wired to worship. Eventually, the fake gods will be seen to be fake and the true God will be seen to be true. An evangelistic explosion is going to happen sometime before the end. Now, it's also true there will be many who are totally given over to self-service that will never turn to God. So that's true as well. But here we see a, a prophecy of a turning to the God of heaven. And meanwhile, God's people are very far out to lunch here. So God here reminds Jeremiah and he reminds us that he has a mighty purpose for us. Hearts need to find Jesus. They need to find the hope that he gives us there. In the moment, it may look like the forces of atheism and humanism have won, but that's only in the moment. Don't believe it. God is on his throne. His Holy Spirit is working. Many will still turn to Jesus. You and I must be heaven's agents to bring them to Jesus. And on that note, let's pray. <laughs> Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right, able to be used by you. Israel has come to a place where it's very hard for you to use them the way you want. Here it is, and we should learn from it. So help us, Lord, help us to not forget the bigger purposes, not forget that even though in the moment it, it often looks as though the gospel has failed and, and everybody's just seeking their own stuff, Lord, we can see that there's a time coming, a beautiful time, when many hearts will come to Jesus. Lord, may we be part of that proclamation. May we be part of that living. May we be part of the team uh, of those who live in holiness. And you can use us, Lord, please. We ask that you'll let us be on the team and use us to draw hearts toward Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. What will many Gentiles one day do? Turn to God. So you and I, we have no purpose dabbling in any kind of idolatry, even upgraded uh, upgraded 2020 kind of idolatry, our work is higher. God be with you today as you serve Jesus today.